Chef Shea Bear here. Today we're going to make some breading. And we're going to bread these pork chops and see how they turn out. Now this is not just a, a special recipe or anything like that. It's just kind of how I make it. I make it a little different every time, but that's a good thing about when you're doing it at home. You do it how you want it and how you like it. So, let me show you what I got here and then we're going to start mixing them up and breading them. Stay tuned. Okay guys, what I have in here is I have two eggs in here. I've got four pork chops. Okay. I've got two eggs in here. And now, now in here, I've got some flour and about uh, three-fourths of a pack of uh, crackers, you know, chomped up there, and flour. Now I'm going to put a little bit of seasoning in here. This is just Lowry seasoning salt. Like I said, there's no, this does not have a, wow, that's just enough. This, this you know, there's no, I'm not <clears throat> going to use a little pepper. Do it the way you want it. I don't know how much is in here. I just, you know, just put whatever it is. And it usually, you know, when I make it like this a lot, it'll usually come out about the same every time. So, um, a little bit of salt. Okay. Uh, we got some oregano leaves. Put a little bit of them in there. It, it, it doesn't take a lot. We got some uh, thyme. Just, just a little bit. We got a little thyme, right? We got a little thyme left. Okay. Not funny. I get it. Okay. And some cilantro leaves. Did we just? No. That was uh This is a uh, oregano, thyme, and this is cilantro. Just. Just a little bit. <clears throat> okay. Now what I'm going to do here is I have some hot sauce here. This is garlic because we like garlic. I'm just going to put a little bit in that egg there and I'm going to mix that egg up. Right. I'm grab a fork. Oops, sorry guys. I'm just going to mix it up like this. It doesn't have to be whipped, just, you know, get it just kind of smooth, like that. Now, what we're going to do is there's one more ingredient I want to put in there. And it's not going to take much of it. Hang tight. Now I'm going to put this in there. Crab oil, crawfish, crawfish, shrimp, and crab oil. Okay, complete. Nothing to add. Now, it doesn't take a lot of this stuff, guys. And I'm just going to take about two tablespoons. Not teaspoons, tablespoons. But it's up to you. This is just what I'm using. And I'm going to put it into our incorporation there. Because we know it's not a mixture, right? Because that stuff does not mix. It incorporates. So we're going to move this out of the way. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my lid here. The lid's a little dusty. That's okay, guys. We're at home, right? I'm just going to give it a good shake. Shake it up pretty good. Shake it off. Shake it off. Okay. Copyrighted for that shit. Okay. So now there's that. See? Alright. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to take one of these and we're going to dip it in the egg. A lot of guys and gals will uh, put it in the flour or, you know, into the dry and then the wet and then the dry again. Um, but this is just the way I do it. I've done it both ways and I have never really noticed a difference so wipe my hands off here 
Now I'm just going to shake it up, just like shake and bake. Okay, give it a shape like that. And I got this corning wire over here. Just make sure you get it covered. If you got a piece like that that's not covered, just grab some of this stuff and put it on there. And you can do it two or three times if you want. Just enough to get a good coverage on it. Set it in your pan. Now I'm just going to take a little bit and put there and there. Okay, now I'm going to do that to all four of them. And I'll show you what we got when we put it in the oven. Okay, guys. There they are. I know they're not supposed to be touching and all that, but it's okay. It won't hurt a thing. Now I've got the oven set at 400 degrees. And I'm going to turn the oven down to 350 now. And I'm going to let these bake for 35 minutes and then we'll check them. And we'll see how they're doing. Okay guys, this is what we ended up with. Let's take a little taste of this here. Get a little bit of that meat. And again, cook it however long you want. I like it about like that, we do. So let's give it a shot. Mm -mm -mm. That is delicious, folks. Okay guys, so that's how I make my bread of pork chops my headphones on I am editing a video right now so while I'm cooking I still have potatoes to uh, mash and um, and we're going to eat so again thanks for watching this episode of Chef Shea Bear and I remember I'm not really a chef I'm an auto mechanic but I love to cook and I love to learn things but this is how I've I've made pork chops for a long time and if you like them breaded, I think you'll you'll enjoy it too. Just do what I did. Just like I said, there's no tablespoon, teaspoon other than the um, the crab oil. I said about two tablespoons is what I put in. Make it a little less. Add something. Take away something. Substitute with anything. Um, also tastes good on steaks like that. So just it's your creation. Have fun with it and enjoy. And if you make this. Let me know in the comments down below how it turned out and how you liked it. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Chef Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend, gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Have a great weekend.